Okay, he goes there. Wow, this is going to get really wild. If I take, takes, 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 queen b4, he gets... One second, sorry. I mean, because if he takes, I go here, here, and I, I, I pincer him in the corner. And if he takes, I take. He has no queen d8, so I take and block. But he's going to lose the rooks. I also am going to pincer him in the corner here. Okay, let's play Yawn. If Yawn wants to play some Blitz, let's play some Blitz with Yawn. This will be some chill Blitz. Maybe not chill. Is Yawn streaming or not? I wasn't expecting C5, but whatever. I think I take and go Bishop B5. Takes with a Knight. This isn't right, I don't think. I go E4. El Nepo. El Nepo. Yes, exactly. I can play E5 here, but I think just Knight C3 and Queen D4. Very dry, very boring. He goes Knight C6. Um, I can play Bishop B5. I can also go D5. I think D5 must be good. I feel like there's some trick here, like check and maybe check, or just castles. I can also go queen e2, wait a second. Let's just castle. Go check, hit the king. If bishop e7, I go d6. If castles, I just take. If take, I take. If knight d3, I take. He loses that. I think this is really bad for black, but maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. Thank you to Gotham Chess for the raid with 2579. Hope you're doing well, Levy. All you guys are watching, Levy. Um, we are here. Bullet online bullet chess championship it's coming up in about 40 minutes um so we're just chilling playing some blitz getting sharp uh levy i saw you were a little bit tired this morning make sure to get some rest uh, and feel better because I, I he looked really really tired this morning there. so yeah thank you to zilbraz for the uh for the prime thank you so much appreciate it zilbraz thank you hmm hmm this must be winning right just takes an hg5 I mean, this looks so bad. He can go here, but then queen b3, and I think he's getting lined up. He's just getting lined up on this diagonal, and he's just getting absolutely sauced here. Hey, be more Herbie with the 12 months. Someone said, why do I stream so much? Um, I love streaming. I'm a full-time streamer. It's my passion, my job, um, and you guys make it all worth it. So thank you so much. Appreciate it. Isn't it just a free juicer? What's he have, queen d6 or something? I mean, I can obviously take. He takes the pawn. I mean, I have bishop f4, but I mean, this should just be winning. Let's see. If I take, queen e7's a move. This can't possibly work. I can also take. Wait a second. Let's think. Queen b7, queen d5. How is this not just winning on the spot? This is very weird. Knight e4 is no good. Knight f6, queen e7. I think I'm just going to take. I have this, I guess. I can also go knight e4. Actually, what about this knight to e4 and like... One second. I think I'm just going to go for it. Whatever. I don't have time. Go here. Thank you to Gonka for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you to Only One Ever Prime as well. Thank you so much. Um, let's go here. Oh, I could have just take. I mean, I guess I could take a B7 too, but whatever. If I get Queen H4, Knight of Six, I'm just winning. This is very strange. I guess also if I get Bishop E3, I'm just winning. If I get this and that, I just go. Do I go here? I'm gonna go here because I have knight g5 or rook e1. Oh, I just. Oh my god. Whoops. Wait, no, I have here. Wait, no, I'm lucky. I have bishop c3, knight g5, and, or knight f6, and now I win, right? Okay, now I should be winning with correct play, although I really did not play as precisely. If F6, Queen E6, I mean, this should just be game over, kind of. Let's 
go here, hit the pawn. Bishop d5, I can obviously take. Um, I'll just go here. I don't know if this is right, but I mean, again, I, with all these with all these threats, let's play h4. Oh, did I just give him f No, I have rook e8, okay. I'm going to be nasty and play queen e8. I was going to be nasty and play queen e8. He resigns, okay. Okay, he just takes. Let's go here. Okay, he's going to play this one. Um, this is pretty standard. I, I'm going to do something weird. I'm going to play b6 and bishop c5 here. Let's go here. I mean, actually, this is probably just really quite bad. I don't know why I did this. P8, bishop g5. It's actually really bad. I don't know why I did this. Whatever. Let's go here and here, maybe. This is terrible. Chad, is Jan streaming or not, by the way? Because that makes a difference how I play. Is Jan streaming this or not? Does I go here? No? Okay, so he's being super serious. I just want to know how he's treating this because, like, that also very... Jan's play on stream is much different than it is off stream. Do I have C6? Probably not. I think I'll just go back. I think I have H5, maybe. Let's go H5 here. I don't know if this is good, but it looks wild. I don't know what's going on here. He was in chat? Okay, yeah, I mean... Um, I can just go C5, maybe? Probably I'm going to take and take. I, I mean, I don't know if it makes sense. I mean, I can obviously trade. I'm going to take and go here. Okay, he goes bishop d2. I think I'll just take and take. Let's go here and queen, here and knight h5 maybe. This isn't so clear because I have, I have d3, which is important here. Let's go here. I want to go d3 very badly. Let's go here. I want to still go d3. I mean, he has rook g1, but I guess I just go knight e6. I cut the square, and then I'm doing well. Let's go here. I still have d3. I still have b5. If I get king g7 and rook h8, I'm just much better, even. I think Jan has misplayed this. I'm going to go here and rook h8, and I'm going to try to argue that my king side is better than whatever he can do over here on the queen side. Because my knight also holds the square. Okay, I don't know what that... I mean, d3 is obviously good, but let's just go here and kick the queen. I also have rook h8 as well at some point. D3 is a big threat. I mean, this doesn't look good for white. Zero, okay, I'll go here and target the pawn. Now I get rook h3. I mean, this looks, what's that? Just rook h8 and take. What is Jan doing here? I'm really confused. Ah, he has this. Okay, but this still doesn't look right. I mean, I can always go c3. Let's think. I'm up on the clock, so I'm doing well. I just have to find the right idea. Actually, let's go c3 and maybe rook h2. Let's go create this mate threat. He blocks, I just take. If he goes here, I go here. If he goes here, I go there anyway. I think I'm doing well here. Update Nigel's team saw you on stream and deleted his tweet. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> okay, um, okay. I mean, it's like, it's just, you have to understand your role. I mean, it's, this is not Nigel the private citizen. This is, this is Nigel, like, defeated vice president. Like, I, I mean, as a chess player, he's, I mean, completely fine, but. Okay, do I, no, I don't have this. Um, let's just go here. Let's go here. Here, I think, I think I hit the bishop and I want to run the pawn. I should be better, but this isn't easy. Um, I can, no, 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 okay. What am I, what am I do? Okay, let's go here. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Whatever, let's just, oh, I blunder queen. Oi, 
I blunder queen f6, but I have king g8. Whoops. Let's go here. I think I'm just going to run the juicer. I don't even care. I'm not actually sure how white's stopping the pawn here. What does that do? If I go here? Oh, that was a check on e5. I didn't even realize it was a check. Okay, let's go check. Go here, I, I mean. This actually work, okay, let's go here. Oh, I just take and now I make a queen. Uh, let's play e4 again. Did I play e4 before? No, I didn't, right? Um, I don't think I did this. Okay, let's go c4, d4. So last time I studied this, or no, it goes knight f6. Let's go d4. Let's go here. Um, let's go knight d2 in castles, maybe, or h3. No, I mean, come on, you guys, stop being weird. I have no intention of doing anything with, with running for fide or whatever. Uh, do I have h3? I do, because takes, takes bishop b4, just bishop d2. I think I just castle here. Uh, I can play rookie one. I can go knight b3. I can play a3, b4 also, but knight e5, no, knight e5 is no good. Let's, mm, I don't like my position, so I'm going to try to develop the bishop, uh, bring the bishop in. There's no knight g4. I hold. I just move the horse back to d2, I guess. Let's play a3, so a4, knight d2 is fine. Let's go back. I can go queen c2, queen c3 maybe. Let's go here. I feel like, I feel like Jan has kind of misplayed this. I mean, this is still completely, I guess he has knight e4. I'm gonna go here, trade, because e5, I go d5. And if I go rook d1, it's pretty dry, but I still I still think I'm doing better here. I don't know what rook a5 does exactly, because e5 is still d5. Um, let's uh, let's go here. c3, knight e5 is also doable, but I think I'm just gonna rotate my knight. Put the rook on c1. I think I should be pretty happy with my position. I can also double stack on the d file too. Ah, but he is... Ah, b5. That's actually a very logical move. I didn't even think about that. I could go here. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. If I go here, he moves the rook. I push. Let's just go here and hit the rook. Here, takes, 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 maybe? I don't know what's going on. He also can go b4, which I just realized. Should not have allowed that. Okay, let's go here. Keep the pin alive. I can remove the knight. I think I'll go here and bishop c3, knight e3. And I think I'm just better. Better maybe too strong of a word, but I feel like there should be a lot of potential here to attack. Okay, go here. I hold the juicer. He wants to sack, but now his rook is getting harassed. Or harassed, sorry. Let's go, um, let's go 93 here, hit the rook. Um I mean this looks so bad. I guess rook e4, I go d I could have played d5 right away. Oh, but now he's 90 no, but then I have c5. It's getting really weird. Um I also have knight d2 just to hit the rook after knight e5. Wait, knight d2. I guess he just takes. I can take. No, wait. e d5, knight e4, knight e4. Or knight e4, d e4. I think I'm just going to move my king up. Because now I'm turning c5 to lever the bishop. I have knight f5. I can also just trade at some moment. This looks very ha- Oh, knight. Okay, goes rook e8. Actually, you know what? I should probably should probably just take. I'm not happy about it, but I think it's okay. I'm just going to go for the double here. I also have knight d5 at the right moment, too. Does that really concern me? Maybe. Um, I don't think it does. I'm just going to play here in knight d5, I think. Go here. I definitely need to... Don't I have queen f3? Or... Wait, if I take, let's see. I have knight e4, rook d4, knight g3. Okay, he has tricks here. Let's go here. So he takes, I take. If he takes my rook, I take with check and I win the queen. If he takes, I just take with the rook. I think this is good, but I'm not sure. 
Don't say moves because he's listening. Come on, this is Yan. Yan is Yan. I, I mean, I have a lot of respect for Yan. He's not doing that. Let's be serious. Um, can obviously trade. Actually, Queen E8's a very good move. Um, it's a very that's a very very good move. If I go C5 E2, Rook E5, Queen E5, Rook E1. Let's try it. This might not work, but I have Queen D5. If he takes, I go Rook D8. If he goes E2, I take. He takes, but then I take with check. And if he takes, I go here and here. Very, very sharp position. Take with a queen. E2, Rook E1. Jan must... Pl I have Queen D8 for starter. But wait, I gotta be think about it, this. Okay, Queen, e queen D8, trade, trade, takes. Rook here. King G7. F3, Bishop B2. Rook E8 takes. No good. Rook E1, Bishop B2. Actually, Rook E1 looks good just to take. Yeah, Rook E1's got to be the right move here. Because his king is very open. He's created a lot of loose holes around his king. Goes to F8. I think I go here and now Rook E8. And now I just lose because A4 and B3 falls. And then I just win the game. Excellent, 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 excellent technique by me. Also, is King G7? Don't I just have Rook E8? I just trapped the queen. <laughs> Look at this queen. It just gets trapped. No squares. Hmm. Let's just play something else. Okay, plays queen f4. Now takes is a move here, but I, I don't really want to go into the heavy weeds of theory, so I'm just going to try to play something slow here. Think of banana proud profusion for the prime. You were killed with the prime. Patricia Seban with the prime. Savage with the prime. Actuary with the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, knight h5 looks reasonable. Is knight h5 f5 a move, I wonder? I'm going to try it. I don't know if it's good, but it looks interesting. He checks. I go over. Oh, he just got... Oh, whoops. <laughs> whoops. I didn't see bishop f7. Fortunately, I have bishop e6, but... This isn't really what I wanted. I thought I could just go over, but then he hits my uh, he hits my rook and my 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 knight at the same time. Um, I can play h6, but then g4 looks bad. I mean, this game is probably not going to go well for me, but let's see. I think I'll just drop back, maybe. So he's gonna go knight g5, and I guess I go rook e8 or e7. I think I go. I really don't know which square is right. Both squares look reasonable. e7 intuitively feels right somehow. It feels right intuitively, so I'm gonna trust my trust my gut. Knight d5, I just take. But I'm not sure. Intuitively, it feels right, but it could be wrong. Yeah. But don't I have knight e5 here? Yeah, but now I have C5, maybe? I can also take... At least I, at least I know that I put the rook on the right square. That much is clear. Um, takes, takes is no good. I think I'm just going to gambit a juicer. He can take it, but I'm going to go A6 and go for the, the huge attack here on the queen side. Let's go here. Knight E6, I guess. Let's go here. I'm trying to go for a big attack over here. Big center, big attack. Time to be a big baller. Um, maybe queen a5 is a move even. Whoa, okay. So he's basically giving me the whole house. Let's go d5 here. Knight e6, queen a5 is my idea. Okay, let's just go all in. Let's just go all in here. d4 is a move. I could have also taken maybe and gone d4, but I mean, who cares? This is good enough. Okay, he goes there. Wow, this is going to get really wild. If I take, takes, takes, takes queen before, he gets... One second, sorry. I mean, because if he takes, I go here, here, and I, I, I pincer him in the corner. And if he takes, I take. He has no queen d8, so I take and block. But he's going to lose the rooks. I also am going to pincer him in the corner here. Don't I have rook d7? I can also just take. Wait a second. This is very tricky. I know I'm winning here. That much is clear. I just take, I guess. 
Check king h8. I mean, I should be winning here. Wait, is it, he does have queen d5, though. Which I, but then I go rookie. Wait a second, okay? This is still wild. Um, I should be winning somehow. Maybe I go here, here. But then... This looks very iffy, but I'm going to play it. I, I suspect this doesn't work, but I don't see an actual checkmate after this. Let's go here. I hit the queen. I threaten this. He checks. I go over. I can always drop the rook back to hold against the double. Okay, I think I should play just c4. Stop him from opening up this line. Okay, so what? I just go here. Again, no, no weirdness. Let's go here. Cut the square. Go in with the other rook and then mate him on, on the queen side. I think I'm just winning here. Let's go here, and now queen c3. And okay, he goes rook c1, but I just I just take the open line here. I think this is winning. Let's just go here. I want to stop that. Um, okay, let's go here. He still can't even really trade. That's the problem. He can't trade the queens. Let's just go in now. Let's go in for the kill. I'm going to do the double on the 8th rank and just mate him. Just go for it. I just run the king up and he's got nothing. Let's keep going. When is the bullet? It's starting in 14 minutes. Uh, let's go here. Maybe knight g3. Maybe knight a4 is the move too. Um, I think I'll play knight g3. I don't know if it's the right move, but it's just a move. Yeah, so he goes knight a5 now. So I can play bishop b3. I can also just castle into it. I don't care. I'm just going to castle. Whatever. Let's go here. And I guess just bishop e3 should be fine. I also have knight d5. I also have bishop g5. I also have this. I also have that. Um, let's do this. I think I'm gonna do a take two sets of doubles. Oh, he does that. Wow. Hmm. Very interesting. I was not expecting knight g6. Let's go rook d1. Let's go here. Takes ef4 is no good. I mean, I guess he moves the queen, but then I take. Now, do I take with the pawn? As a... I think I'm gonna take with the pawn. I'm gonna take two sets of doubles. Because I trust that my knight will get a good square on, um, on somewhere. I guess let's just play b3. Consolidate first. Let's go here. Because now c6 I drop back and he creates a weakness. He can no longer push the pawn. Because he's created big, big weaknesses. Let's go for a double here. Oh, he's got queen h4. Yikes. Or no, he doesn't. He hangs the pawn. What am I thinking? Let's go here. Okay, so he takes. Um, I guess I should take an undouble. I mean, it's a very weird, like... I don't know what you call this formation. Let's go here in rook f3. This probably is very drawish. I don't think the other side really has much here. But if anyone's better, it should be white because he doesn't get f5. Um, let's just go here. Probably just a draw. There's not much either, uh, either side can do here. I was hoping for some tricks. Where do I want my knight is another question. I think I'll just put my rook up. Go h3, king h2, I guess. Not much happening. It's probably just a draw with correct play. Not much either side can do here. Both sides are really kind of restricted. Like, he doesn't want to move his knight. He can't push, though. I mean, maybe in, if there's some, in some world, he can get the pawns rolling on the king's side, but very hard to believe. I mean, I think I'm just going to go here. He wants queen g5. I think I'm going to go here and queen f2 actually to stop it. I don't really see anything either side can do here. I just think it's just very drawish. Because both sides are kind of restricted here. There's just not much. Okay, it goes h5, but again, I'm not really that worried. Yeah, he does go queen g5, which I saw, but don't I have knight f5 tricks coming? Let's go here, maybe. Oh, I blundered h4. Oh my gosh, I just... Oh, whoa, I just blundered that. Whoa. 
I just actually made a huge blunder. But I do have knight up two, maybe a knight e4. That was a big blunder on my part. I didn't even realize he had that. Is this actually a draw or not? Takes check. I mean, I have to take with the queen. Isn't this just a draw? I, I mean, I outweigh him. Oh, I have way too many moves here. I think he forgot that I can actually outweigh him on the queen side too. This should be a draw. Unless I can create something here too. Because I have the tempos to outweigh him, I think. If I go F4, what's going on? I can also go B4. Yeah, let's go B4. So if he goes G5, I can just go King D3, King E3, and it's a draw. Can't I go C5 here, or what's going on? Let's go C5, let's see. I also have F4 at some I mean, this is getting very weird. Okay, so I can obviously take... If I go C6, G5, C... Let's go here. Oh, I've got C4, C5. Wait, I might be winning here. I have C4, C5. Wait, I might be winning this end game. Let's go here. I think I'm winning here. I think I'm winning. Jan messed this up. I'm think I think I'm winning here. He misplayed this. I should be winning here. Because I, I can create the I can create an extra juicer outside. Yeah, I'm winning. There we go. And D6, I lever it. Touchdown. Perfect chess. Perfect chess. We get the win. We get the McDoption. 5-0. Very, very good. Very, very good. Um, yeah, these end games are very tricky when you get these pawns rolling. Actually, am I winning at the start? I wonder is the question. So here, is this actually winning anyway? Is what I'm wondering. Let me do some live analysis. Wait, so at what point is it winning then? Let's see. Let's let's change the scene. Um at what point does this go from Okay. So I go king f2, goes here. So at this point it's still a draw. Why is this a draw? He waits, I go c3, and I go here. And he gets the right tempo. I guess he needs the right he needs the right tempo to where when it's this position it's not Zugazvan. Yeah, because here I can't go c5. Because then he takes and he takes. And he doesn't lose. So basically he needs this position where it's static, but it's white's move. Whereas in the game, he goes here. And he it's not static. Like it's black's move, so his king has to go, and now he can't take the juicer because he loses. So in this position, if it's if it's black's move, it's winning. If it's white's move, it's a draw. Because it's black's move, he has to move, and now the whole break works because he can no longer eat the juicer because his king doesn't hold it. And he goes here, and now he just loses because the problem is like he has to stay close. So if this happens, he loses again. He takes a, a free path. If he comes over, I take, and the pawns hold, and I just make a grill. Um, and um, and so at this point, he has to wait. Now I go f4, which is important because now he doesn't have time to go for this anymore because I just take, I take, and I come here. It's one, two, three, four, five. So it's just winning. Um, so yeah, so it's actually surprisingly clean. And then and then C5 again. If he goes over, I take and I make a queen. If he tries to um if he tries to take, obviously I just push. Here I take and make a queen. So it's always winning.